<laughs> okay. <clears throat> Alright, so... They all looked at me with blank stares as if I said some nonsense like, quote, well, this only... That's only if X equals the temperature of the negative space, not the specimen itself. Yes, my old friend, I still use that joke to get out of conversations with wannabe scientists now and again. They never know how to answer and, and uh, just agree, but unfortunately, this wasn't a joke. This energy crisis is real. Alecki's researches on Olympus have shown me almost too many scenarios that all end in disaster by 2699. The Outlands weren't the Outlands weren't built from long term. It was just exploration until the IMC returned. But those years turned into centuries and now we're paying the price. I've got another presentation to other benefactors coming up and could use your help. Bring your whole family. Bring Reed. You're gonna need that assistant. It'll be just like old times. Plus, I'd love to see my little Newton again. I am his godmother, after all. Hope I can count on you. And if it doesn't work, we may have to do this thing ourselves. Okay. That's fight night. There's no story bio for that. Okay, and this is where I'm catching up. I'm getting all caught up. I'm getting all caught up. Okay. Here we are. Walter Fitzroy, better known as Fuse, died instant date here due to instant cause of death here. He was, he was, insert age here. Okay, so everything is classified over there. Fritz Roy, previously a mercenary, stunned all of Salvo when he qualified for the blood sport bone cage at the age of 51. The oldest person to ever compete, clearly. Um, despite early skepticisms, alt ridicule mockery, that the explosives expert made history with the longest win streak in bone cage history. 21, 21 matches, demolishing the previous record by 13 and garnering hordes of fans. Fitzroy courted controversy, however, joining the Apex Games as Salvo joined Syndicate Space in 2734. Details of exploits here, maybe a quote from the legend with the, with the hair or the cute one with the face, Ed. He didn't miss a step bringing his explosive fighting style and irresponsible swagger to the games. Unfortunately, his swagger cost him his life when, insert cause of death here, tone down the gore, Ed. Okay. Walter Fitzroy is survived by, look for anyone close to him. If no one, cut, th cut this and end on quote about peace slash rest from an important Sal Salvonian if one exists, haha, ha, Ed. Okay. Interesting. 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 Waldorf. This is the Talking Legends podcast with Norma and Waldorf, and we're talking Salvo inauguration ceremony happening this weekend at King's Canyon. And mysteries abound. Norma. That's right. There's Salvo, the first fringe world ever to join the syndicate. There's Fuse making his debut at the ceremony. Waldorf, which is going to be an historical, historically epic party. So the real mystery is why the number one Apex Legends podcast, us still don't have tickets to the ceremony. Any theories, Norma? Other than the, other than they've been sold out for the for months. If I had to guess, I'd say it's your your non-stop badgering of Mirage on social media last week. Waldorf. Doesn't ring a bell. I think there's more at play here. Jacob. I know you're a sane man, a rational man, and we both know a bold-faced marketing scheme when we see it. So no use mincing words. We got a bunch of warmongers joining the union 
and it's your job to pretty pretty it up fine fine is what it is but your bosses just made life harder for me and mine salvo's got no love for the frontier corps and we both know their weapons are gonna start making the rounds twice as fast now their legal trade a lot of folk out there got it hard enough throw in a rocket launcher that levels an outpost with a sneeze and every squabble tween neighbors could turn deadly hmm. all right this is the pick that i ha i currently have on i didn't read it but i'm gonna read it now why why salvo is the best in all other planets can go piss off by margaret cohere year seven also known as mad maggie I love Salvo. Salvo's the best place to live, and everyone wishes they lived here. That's why they keep coming here and telling us how to live. Rip some eggs came by our place last winter saying they wanted to bring peace to our land. Uncle Tama grabbed his rocket launcher so fast he should have seen them run. He's a real quick, a real crack up. Me and Wally laughed so hard we changed our pants twice. Twice. Wow, that's nasty. <laughs> In conclusion, all they want is our choice weapons. They say they want peace, but they all want power. Good luck getting it from Warlord Jack. Can't wait till I get older because I'm going to be the one to tell them where to stick it. The end. Also, when can me and Wally sit next to each other in class again? We won't talk, and we already gave you most of our knives. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. And Wally, I guess, is what Matt, Matt and Maggie called uh, Hughes, Walter Fitzroy, for short. Okay. Chaos and Love. Chaos and Love live side by side. One, Rick of Destruction, and the, other and the other Pride. To the end of days, I carry this weight to save you from your. Himsker, Himsker fate. On Bijarg of the Canyon, I reminisce. The dawn we met by dusk we kiss, but winter falls, the heart is astray. Never us together, never he and they. He made his choice, expelled from, the, from this land. They remain for he in both in the sand. I spoke my far veil. My wrath, my pain. I killed the Ossidur for the good in your name. Boon, to thee, my first heart is bound. With chaos and love, Odin's mooning and found. What a poem. That cruiser class E6 warship is a sight. Reminds me of when Jackson and I were boots back on uh, Gridiron. I would, uh, okay, this is Bangalore talking. Okay, this is a Bangalore talking. Okay. I think that I think this is Bangalore. I think this is um, Bangalore talking. Yeah. Um, yeah, because uh, Jackson, that's her brother, who is supposedly dead, but rumor has it is that he lived and is currently um, married with a family somewhere in the frontier. But that's a story for another day. <laughs> Anyways, that cruiser class E6 warship is a sight. Reminds me of when Jackson and I were boots back on the back on Great Iron. I would have skated through basic if it wasn't for him. He wouldn't let the prank war rest, so neither could I. He died my he died my fatigues paint. I glued his boots to the barracks floor. He covered my helmet in seeds so that birds died dive bomb me. I soaked his pants in prowler pheromones. <laughs> Which, well, I don't get into that. Yikes. Oh, that is, that's, that's messed up. <laughs> okay. Wasn't until I went on the offensive and put laxative in his rations only to have our commanding officer accidentally eat him oh my gosh turn her 
turned her inside out for two days. We got the stick for that. Had to scrub in Isaks from stem to stern with our toothbrushes. Singing that cruiser get wrecked, it hurts someone cleaner. Someone like Jackson. There's no one like Jackson. Heh, <laughs> we all know this Maggie is responsible for crashing that Isaks, but Mirage. Mirage will spread some blame on the IMC for making that shit. Wonder if I've got any of that Prowler pheromone stowed away somewhere. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Bang. Long story short, Bangalore. Yeah, Bangalore in or Anita Jackson. Her name is her real name is Anita, but goes by the code name Bangalore. She is a f she is an IMC uh, special forces soldier, elite special forces soldier for the IMC military. So, yeah. She is a she is a proud IMC soldier, and uh, she fights for the core system. And the core system, of course, is Earth. And that's the, and that's what uh, that is what the leadership of Earth is being run by the IMC. IMC is a international United Nations government, which pretty much runs the entire planet Earth. Anyways, um, I think I've read them all. I think I've read them all. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Other than uh, this one, I didn't read this one yet. This is this is the newest one that I unlocked. Okay. All right. All right. Back on Salvo when I was just a whelp with two arms, two eyes, and zero clue, my Merc group got hired by Dairy Farmer to bash some meatheads he thought were killing his livestock at night until we paid up. So we watched the fields eating the farmer's cheese when a bloody massive mama prowler is on us. She'd been the one wrecking the farmer's lives and she's set to wrecking ours by swallowing my best mate. So I dove in after her. I was neck deep in her neck when I realized I didn't have a plan to get us out. With classic timing, that farmer's cheese turned over in my guts and it came to me. I pulled the pins off every gas grenade we had. The mama ripped a huge belch pal and me go flying and the mama barreled off. Gas coming out both ends. <laughs> oh man. The farmers tried to pay us in cheese, but I nearly had a spew, so they gave me a guitar instead. And that's the story of my first six string. Damn. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is hilarious, yo. But uh I'm I pretty much am all I'm all caught up with the story bios. I read them all, every single one, from A to Z. Yeah, I read all every, everything from here. Loba story, Horizon story, Hughes' story. Um, Mir Mirage's brief story, I guess. I, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to read. I had to read Bangalore's story on the internet. Because I, when I first started playing Apex Legends, I didn't even have like uh, money reserved for me to buy like all the um, season passes and stuff until uh, last year. Until last year, so um, yeah, I wasn't able to um, read it, any of Bangalore's story. But I understand. But but yeah, well, I didn't. Well, I did, but on the internet. I read it on the internet, but not in game, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, we're all caught up. Uh, yeah, let's get some games in. <laughs> let's get some games in. 